Okie doke. So now we want to take a look at adding um, other resources to our, our Smartified um, lesson. So if you remember, we took our George Washington Carver PDF, we, click, we right clicked on it on our Google Drive, opened it with Smart Learning Suite Online. We've already added quite a bit of Smartification to our lesson. We've added games, we've turned that original PDF file into um, a digital worksheet. And we've added formative assessment. So by default, it's going to go ahead and start this as if we are delivering it live, but we want to go into editing mode. So we go up here to the hamburger menu, the three lines in a row in the top right hand corner, and we select edit lesson. And this should look familiar. It takes us back into our editing mode. So um, when I select that, if you'll remember, I go down to my blue plus sign. And this is all the different types of content that I can add. So we're going to take a look at adding some of these ready-made resources. And you'll see there are four different kinds. Activators, uh, question and reflection, manipulatives, and graphic organizers. Let's take a look at all of them. You'll see they're in different formats. You've got shouted out, response activities, and handout activities right there in activating prior knowledge. It's going to look very similar for questioning and reflection. You're going to have shouted out activities, response, and handout activities as well. Um, now, the manipulatives and the graphic organizers are, are pretty new. Um, really fun, different types of um, activities that you can add. So I'm going to add a graphic organizer. We're going to do a brainstorming web. And then I'm also going to add questioning and reflection. Okay, I'm going to do the uh, six word summary. Now, of course, they're just going to add these wherever I am on my lesson. I know that I want my six word summary to be the very last thing because that, I'm going to use that as my exit ticket. So I remember all my pages are drag and drop, but maybe I want my brainstorming web to go right after my activator and my activator in this case was a shouted out activity if you remember. So my students, um, as soon as I add this, my students will be able to um, interact with it as long as I convert it to an activity. Because remember, anything that I add that I have not made an activity, they will only be able to read. They will not be able to look at it. So I have to convert this to an activity. And so I select it. And remember, I have the option to make it an individual or a collaborative activity. This one is going to be individual as well, and that's how you use those ready-made resources.